Mm-mm-mm. Hey, brothers and sisters in music, I'm actually in the middle of editing the video you're about to see. Welcome to Anthem. My name is Tommy Z, and I just wanted to say a few things, and I apologize in advance. This video was recorded in my hometown where I was born. I took a little trip, but I had the wrong camera settings on, which means the footage will be a little bit shaky. Still, I don't want that to detract from the message. I think this is an important video, and I want you to stick around because I'm going to take you on a long walk uh, through my city while I tell you all the reasons why I believe being in this business is a beautiful thing. I'll see you at the end of the video. Enjoy. Okay, folks, so let's talk about why creating music for brands might be a good idea for you as an artist. Welcome to the Anthem for those of you who are new. My name is Tommy Z. I'm glad to see you here. Let's talk about this. The reason why making music for brands is good for your career as an artist, number one, is that it gives you exposure. Think about it this way. Brands are buying up canvases in big art galleries. By canvases, I mean they're buying up media time on television, on the internet, on the radio, Video. They're buying up big blocks of media time that potentially millions of people all around the world are going to see. And in these blocks, they're presenting these campaigns. They're buying up media for these campaigns. And if you happen to be a songwriter or a composer whose music is actually placed on one of these campaigns, then you know you're gonna get amazing exposure. I don't know if you've ever seen a brand film, let's say on YouTube, where the song was amazing and nobody knew what it was. And then you look in the comments and everybody's asking, what is the artist? Who is the artist? artists of this track. This is one of the main benefits of creating music for brands is that brands are buying lots of leverage, lots of media time. They're guaranteeing you exposure as an artist. And so after a successful brand campaign for Audi, BMW, Nike, or Adidas, there is a good chance that your career as an artist might get a jump start. So let me give you an example of the power of exposure. I have a friend who's an artist, who's a composer in a business. His name is Sean Christopher. One of his first breaks in the business was to create an original song for a big Audi campaign. It is this particular campaign for Audi that hundreds of thousands of people have seen and they started commenting under this campaign and the track that he wrote for this Audi campaign was actually something that he ended up eventually extending into a full-length song and he ended up taking this track and adding some more music that he created for other commercials like for a Bridgestone campaign which we've also done together he ended up taking these tracks and turning them into his first EP which ultimately turned into an album this all started because he had like hundreds of thousands of eyeballs on this Audi campaign which gave him this sort of a jump start that ultimately resulted in him creating an album Album, and then ultimately getting signed to a label called Dumont Dumont Records and today he's doing both he's uh, recording music as an artist he's touring he's songwriting he's creating the kind of music that he likes and on the side once in a while he's also commissioned to create music for big brand campaigns either way he can still make some money and I believe that's good for your art so why do I say that making money is good for you as an artist well obviously because it keeps you in the game but it's not so easy today to make money as a music artist by releasing your songs. Record labels aren't really handing out deals. People aren't really buying your music. They can stream it for free. Like I always say, streaming platforms are paying less than pennies. So the old model certainly is not working. But what you can do today is if you want to make money, you commission yourself out and you take your musical skill and sell it to places that are creating music for brands, write songs, write scores, create sounds for these big brand campaigns and make your money that way. One of the guests that we had in our pro group, this guy Ruben, who does a lot of ads, but he's also active as a music producer and an artist, he calls it Robin Hooding, which means that he takes money from the brands and that's the money that he uses to feed his own art, to give himself freedom to create what he wants to create. The thing, my friends, is this. Money and art doesn't always mix. So why force your art to conform to the marketplace? Why not keep your art sacred Keep everything clear. When you want to make money with your music, you turn into a craftsperson who rents out their musical skill to be commissioned to create a song, a score, or sound design for a big brand campaign, 
And that will be the way that you make your money from music. Now, another way making music for brands is good for your art is that it improves you as a craftsperson. Being a craftsperson is at least half of what being an artist means. Why? Because you have to be technically capable of putting your ideas into a finished form. Creating the thing that is in your mind and actually putting it out there in time and space. For that, you have to be technically proficient as a craftsperson. And the thing about creating music for brands is it happens so often and you're working on so many different styles that you actually have to get very good as a craftsperson. And it all happens so quickly that if you wanna be successful in this game, you actually have to learn how to be very technically proficient. So trust you me, if you do a thousand campaigns like I have under very tight deadlines and under very tight specifications, you're gonna get very technically proficient at what you do. And that means that you'll be able to take those skills and that experience and apply it in your work as a music artist. So it's actually going to benefit your art. Now, another really cool thing about making music for brands is that unlike making music for video games, unlike making music for films, everything and making music for brands happens really quickly. So you get a chance to work on a variety of different projects on their really quick deadlines. So between the time you get briefed for a project and the time you compose the music, you make some revisions, you send out an invoice and you actually get paid for it, it's on average about a month. Compare that to writing music for a film where you're spending six months with a film director uh, sitting in a studio, uh, working continually on a piece of music and then waiting to get paid for it. Same with video games. I hear from video game composers who say that sometimes it takes years to actually develop a game, which means that between the time that they start on the music and the time they actually get paid for it, it takes a really long time. Now, another absolutely huge benefit to creating music for brands is the fact that you can work remotely. You don't ever have to leave your home studio and your pajamas in order to be commissioned as a composer, as a songwriter, as a beat maker, creating music for big brand campaigns. You don't have to live in a big city. You can live in the middle of nowhere, in a small village, in the middle of a forest. In fact, I work with composers like this. All that matters is that you have the talent, you have the tenacity, you have the capability of showcasing your talent, your reel, of developing relationships, which you can do remotely. Again, using technology, using email in a skillful way to make new connections, to showcase your work, and then to get the briefs. They arrive in your inbox by email. I actually have not seen any of the top composers that I work with in person in the longest time. Some of them, like Naren, the guy who's doing tons of commercials in our business and he's really well known in our industry, I have never actually met in person, if you can believe it. And we've done a bunch of work for big brand campaigns. So I don't know many other fields where you can make money as a musician without actually leaving your home studio. The fact is, folks, that 98% of composers in our business are freelance musicians who are working right out of their home studio. So when this whole pandemic hit, a number of different industries were affected, but in our business, the composers kept doing what they were always doing, sitting in their pajamas in their home studio, receiving briefs in their email, crafting music to these big brand campaigns, doing the revisions, and then sending out an invoice in PDF by email and receiving the money in their bank account. So that's the beautiful thing about our business is that the work happens remotely. It's location independent and pandemic proof. Now, another cool thing about creating music for brands is that it teaches you how to exist as a musical craftsperson in the age of short attention span. We live in TikTok generation. Everything is timed in seconds now. So I'm stepping onto an escalator now. It should take me about, I don't know, 30 to 60 seconds to reach the top. And that's the only amount of time you have to grab somebody's attention. Whether you like it or not, that's a fact. The funny thing is the commercial, the advertising medium has always used the 30 second length to create their content, to grab attention, to tell a story. And so if you're going to be commissioned as a musical craftsperson to create music for brands, you're going to get very good at being able to grab attention, maintain attention in the amount of time that it took me to travel on this escalator. And I believe that's a skill that is really priceless today. Now, another huge benefit of 
working in our business is that I don't know any other business where musical craftspeople get to future-proof their career. Behind me in the backdrop is what's called the Great Theater, the biggest theater in my hometown where I was born. It's going through renovations right now. During the pandemic, it totally got shut down. A lot of theater actors were out of work. A lot of creative professionals, a lot of musicians were out of work, but not the musicians in the advertising and the branding industry. Do you know why? It's because brands don't stop creating content. Brands will continue to produce content, whether the pandemic exists, whether it doesn't exist. The role of the brand is to get your attention. It's to keep your attention. It is to stick in your hearts and minds. And this is why they will continue to spend billions on marketing, millions of which will go to music, and much of this music will be done by freelance musicians just like you who are working right out of their home studio. And I've seen this in the past two years, things have not essentially changed in our business. Freelance musicians continue to get projects, so making music for brands is the best way to future-proof your career as a musical craftsperson. Now, folks, I want to make something very clear. I don't love brands for brand's sake. The reason why I love this industry, the reason why I love my work as a musical craftsperson is because brands pay me to essentially spend my life in the studio. And that's a place where I wanna spend most of my time, where I wanna put in most of my life energy. Don't get me wrong, I'm not always loving the music that I'm creating, but I'm still spending my time in the place that I love, the studio, perfecting my craft, tweaking, strumming, plucking, creating sounds. This is how I wanna spend my life. And the best part is I'm actually getting paid to do it. Contrast that with a musician who maybe hopes they're gonna get big someday, but in the meantime, they have to hold down a day job. And this day job is essentially eating up most of their best time and energy so that they end up leaving what they love most until the very last. Making music at night when they're tired and uninspired after having worked a whole day at their day job. So I'm getting rained on a little bit, but hopefully I can finish this video quickly. The last reason why making music for brands is lovely, because I made real lifelong friends and collaborators in this game. I always repeat this in the masterclass because it's the foundation of everything we teach, that all the good, all the best things in your life will come from other people. They will come from relationships. And the cool thing about working in the creative business is that a lot of your clients will actually become your friends. In fact, as I always say, we're not selling real estate. We're not selling vacuum cleaners in our business. What you're selling is yourself, your vibes, your ability, your personality. If people vibe with you, if they enjoy you, if they resonate with who you are, they will want to continue to send you work because they know what they're gonna get back is something that is on the same frequency. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always imagined my life and work being closely connected so that I don't have to put on two different masks when I'm at home and when I'm at work. So making music for brands has been a blessing in that many of my clients are also my personal friends and people who I just like spending time with. Folks, at the end of the day, is our business a paradise where nothing ever goes wrong, where everything is beautiful? No, there are problems, there are issues. In fact, there are really intense frustration with this business that I would like to cover in another video. But overall, when I sit down for a beer with my fellow producers, with my fellow composers in the business, we always talk about the fact that given all the good and the bad, when you sum it up, at the end of the day, we're still happy blessed and grateful to be able to spend most of our life creating music and actually getting paid for it, which is not such an easy thing to accomplish these days. But also, I feel very blessed and grateful that there are people in our academy who are learning to transform their talent into traction, to be able to actually make some money with their musical skill. If you believe that some of the benefits I listed in this video are attractive to you, you'd like to find out more about this business, I invite you to do so. The free training is below. You can get in touch with our academy and find out if that this might be a good fit for you. So there we are, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you click like, if you ask questions or comment below, if you subscribe to the channel. And that's it, folks. I hope you have yourself a beautiful day. I'm Tommy Z. I'm sending you a big hug and I'll see you in the next video.